A lot of us get into front-end development because it helps us see magic on the screen in the quickest way possible. But to create magic in any form is no easy task. It takes years of practice and patience. We are first deceived by the lower barrier of entry in front-end development, which is the classic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, only to realize further down the line that it takes way more than just that. Yes, JavaScript is the most important skill, but as you start working for clients or just companies in general, you start building large web applications. And guess what? Every company has their own set of varying requirements and standards. And that's when you enter the world of framework and UI libraries. You begin to realize JavaScript isn't enough. And you have to make a decision to choose from the huge list of frameworks that all utilize JavaScript at the core level, but are required because they provide a foundation to create JavaScript applications in a more efficient manner. AngularJS, Vue.js, React.js, Next.js, Svelte, you're bombarded with all such frameworks and libraries and it drags you down a path where you're left to research upon every popular framework and decide the one suitable for your development needs. And many times, you might even have to learn multiple frameworks, which is all the more time consuming. Apart from that, a front-end dev also has to take into account SEO needs. This opens up the world of choosing frameworks that provide either server-side rendering, client-side rendering, incremental static regeneration, or a combination of multiple rendering patterns and so much more. Now all of that spoken until now is how you begin your front-end journey. Not so easy, right? What comes after is even more insane. While working on an application, there are a lot of scenarios to account for. While coding, you always need to remember that your code or web application does not just need to run on a browser, but on many browsers that can run on all devices. Browsers implement specs differently in many cases, which means the perfectly valid code you write may not work as expected, or in some cases, you just cannot write the code you want to at all just because they aren't compatible on certain browsers. Then comes the case where you need to account for various device screen sizes while coding. Screen sizes vary widely across various devices. One of the responsibilities of a front-end developer is to modify the user interface in order to support all of these sizes without affecting users' browsing experience. And yes, although there's a certain breakpoint standard developers can follow to ease out this process, that doesn't mean it's pixel perfect every time. Another important thing is, users can do anything at any time. They could visit your web page, and not just the main page, but any page directly, using any device, and that too with or without logging in. And you as a front-end developer will have to manage respective views for every scenario. Users might also navigate away from your page at any time, refresh it, clear existing caches, or even use another device without those caches and expect to see the same result. They could scroll, pinch, rotate, and do so much more with the device screen. And guess what? All of these actions need to be solved in a manner that makes the application secure, reliable, enjoyable, extensible, and maintainable. As a front-end developer, a lot of time you're going to have to implement the UI wireframes provided by the design team. During the implementation process, your communication skills will be heavily tested. Otherwise, after implementation, you realize a lot of things do not work as they were supposed to, causing you to go back and forth with the design team numerous times. So well, seems like it takes a lot of effort to pull some magic on the screen, right? Do not underestimate front-end development at all, as of 2023, with more tools coming up, Things are only going to get complex and also interesting. I respect every front-end development out there who genuinely wants to get better. The process isn't easy, yet you still keep on going. And that deserves a lot of appreciation. Alright, that's all for the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.